Andy Herman was born in Manhattan to Henry and Joyce Herman. As a teenager, Andy and his family moved from New York City north to Westchester, New York. Andy's father, Henry Herman, was a bowling center manager, and Andy spent much of his youth there. Andy did everything from fixing pen setters to tending bar. During these formative years, Andy watched his dad interact with customers and employees. Andy's father was an excellent communicator and rarely got ruffled. He credits his dad with teaching him the interpersonal skills that have helped him throughout his career. In high school, he applied and was accepted to Valparaiso University in Indiana as an engineering major. Andy graduated in 1973 and immediately went to work for Hardesty in Hanover, a world-class engineering firm. Andy has always had a keen interest in movable bridges, and Hardesty and Hanover has been a perfect fit for him. Bernie Haber is one of the partners who hired Andy. He is a low-key guy, and uh, he, he doesn't get angry at anybody. He's very calm, and uh, he has a very nice ma- manner about him. And he's got a great personality, good sense of humor, and willing to help uh, anyone that's uh, in need of help. Andy's entire career has been with Hardesty and Hanover. Andy's experience includes design, inspection, rehabilitation, and construction of bridges, along with managing some of the firm's major bridge projects, including the Willis Avenue Bridge. Many of these projects have been movable bridges, a challenging engineering feat, and a marvel in many ways. A few years after joining the working world, Andy met his future wife, Linda, at a music concert. They raised two daughters and now have two grandchildren. Linda joins Andy on many of his business trips, both in this country and internationally. I've been to steel fabrication plants, university labs, Three Gorges Dam, and lots of bridge sites. Somehow we always came home from our trips, even family vacations, with photos of bridges. As a structural engineer, Andy approached the challenges of homeownership with real interest and enthusiasm. Beginning with simple repairs to the house, he then designed and constructed furniture as well as an addition to his house. Andy Kuntz is a lifelong friend he met in college, and he comments, His woodworking is gorgeous. I'm thinking of, a, I think it was a grandfather clock that he built. Andy has worked on many projects in his workshop, from the huge built-in entertainment center to a carefully crafted oak cradle for his granddaughter. A true engineer, Andy says working out the details is a challenge she enjoys. Andy paid special attention to the weight and stability of his projects. I uh, built a couple decks and I've been kidded that the safest place in an earthquake is to be on top of the deck. He's been willing to try things that I never would have imagined trying. He built an addition onto our second house and had never done anything like that before, had never built anything more complicated than a bookcase. Professionally, Andy is active in ASCE, both regionally and nationally. He credits his friend and retired partner, Bernie Haber, with getting him involved back in the 1970s. Andy has been an infrastructure champion for many years. He served on the advisory council for both the 2003 and 2005 report card for America's infrastructure and chaired the council for the 2009 report card. Andy Kuntz has seen firsthand the way Andy Herman handles stressful situations. One moment that sticks out in his mind is the time in 2007 when he was visiting Andy at his home and he was asked to comment on fast-breaking news of the I-35 West bridge collapse in Minneapolis. And he took a number of calls that evening, and I was very impressed by his calm and rational responses and really not engaging in extended speculation. But it was a chance for me as a personal friend to see his professional side. I was quite impressed. (laughs) B. Hunt is a fellow engineer and friend. She has seen Andy as a leader and is impressed. Andy Herman is not just working on his individual projects, but also working on trying to make the profession better. Bill Bowden has known Andy since they were on the first board of the organization Heavy Movable Structures. Putting the fact of his engineering competence aside, I think he's a phenomenal human being, and anybody would love to have him as a friend. You know, he knows a lot about the problems in this country, and he's really hoping he can help ASCE make the public aware of some of these problems. He loves ASE. 
Well, <clears throat> I think he'll do the a superb job. I think he'll be one of the best presidents that the ASC has ever had.